and then they'll drop by on our location. Do you feel any differently just in terms of coming off the Louisville win and responding with you know, a, a, a uh, explosive yeah, I, victory? I mean, I, I, you know, I, guess, I guess on paper it may be similar or something, but you know, for us, I mean, uh, I, we were better offensively this year than we were last year without question. We just dropped a bunch of balls and nobody really wants to talk about that. Look for deeper issues. We just didn't catch the football in the first two games. It's really that simple. At 12 drops, about four touchdowns, and it really affected our rhythm. And then we started to work our way out of it uh, in the uh, uh, fourth quarter of the Troy game. And, and it kind of has carried on to South Carolina State, Georgia Tech, um, and, um, and then last week against the Great D. So we're just, we're just playing with better rhythm, throwing and catching a lot better, making explosive plays. Uh, we need to, and uh, I thought we got our quarterback hit a couple times tonight, which I was a little disappointed in. But, you know, I mean, we just take them one at a time, and uh, again, I mean, you can always look back and say, well, this is some of it. We've only played six. We got uh, hopefully our second half of the season will be excellent. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be better than it was last year. You know, I thought that uh, we made some of those games harder than they needed to be. It's good to see us put somebody away now. You know, I thought we, we we were undisciplined down the stretch and some of the big plays that we gave up, some of the big leads that we gave up. So my goal is, I, I personally think we're ahead of where we were as a football team, and uh, hopefully that will prove out in the second half. What does that do for a team when you go on the road and, and in a shorter week here coming off Louisville and you hang one on somebody? Well, that's great. I mean, this is our third road game. And, uh, it's a tough place to play. It really is. I mean, this, we, we've had very – I've never had a game like this up here, ever. Uh, every time I've been up here, it's hang on to your hat, man, to the last play. So it's nice to get one. Uh, I might eat a dove bar on the way home. Uh, usually I got an ulcer when I leave here. Uh, even with a win. It's a tough place, man. But, um, you know, it's, it's good. Uh, winning at Auburn, winning in Atlanta. Those were huge uh, experiences for our team to draw upon. So, you know, they, they were ready. They were dialed in. You know, there was no question. They knew they were prepared. And just just trying to play to our standard each and every week. That looks like a position. Five touchdowns last week for today. Is he the point where you want him to be right now, or can he go even even more than that? Uh, well, no, I think he's he's – He's still got room for improvement. There's no question about it. Uh, you know, he did a good job tonight. I thought he managed the game well. No interceptions. Uh, but he did the same thing last week. He really only had one bad decision last week. Uh, but uh, we had the little miscommunication. And he's uh, he's he's just like I said, a, an improving player each and every week, just like our team is. Nobody prepares harder than, than him. Uh, he's his own worst critic. And he'll continue to, to push the envelope to, to try to improve. If he throws four, he'll want to throw five. Mm -hmm. If he throws five, he'll want to throw six. Uh, if he rushed for 80, he's going to want 100. You know, that's just kind of how he is. And, and it's great when your leaders think that way. And then they'll drop by on the location.